What up, collective? Hello, hello. I'm back again. YouTube is in rotation today. Happy Sunday. I was getting some sinks this morning as well as brooding over the weekend to really see what the next steps are as far as YouTube is concerned, okay? I know anyone out there that works for YouTube, if you're watching my channel, you owe me some checks. Other than that, welcome to the edge, baby. Oh, this reading is going to be about a karmic partner, okay? I don't know who this is for or what it's about. It's whatever comes out, okay? Forgive me, I am exfoliating at the moment, so you will have to find another time, another place, another face to admire today. Canada may be significant, okay? So we may be speaking of a Canadian that is either a karmic partner or someone from Canada may be damaged by a karmic. Interesting. Because this is coming out. Mm. We also have press charges. So there is someone that has been harmed by a karmic that most definitely needs to press charges in a situation. Don't be fooled by their looks in their face because of their void of grace. They know the place that they may be going in the near future. Okay, possibly a law, a building or establishment, possibly jail. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Damaged by a karmic partner is getting clarified by the lovers. This may have something to do with someone in a romantic type relationship. Okay. Whoa. A lot going on here, bro. You could be a Gemini, or you could be dealing with a Gemini, or this person could have a Gemini in their chart. Seven of Pentacles. This is something that has been going on for quite some time. This could also signify something that has happened in the past. Someone is definitely ruminating over these Pentacles here, rounded out by the full energy. You got two. Major Arcana here, sandwiching the seven. Interesting lineup of cards, six, seven, and zero. So 670 may be significant. That could be someone's credit score. Wow, I'm also hearing clairaudiently something about identity theft or fraud on some kind of level. Yeah, this is coming to light here. You may have to press charges against someone who stole your identity or used your identity. I'm also hearing credit profile number here. Yeah. Someone is definitely going to be speaking up about this, or maybe they have some thoughts about some things that has happened in the past, okay? You could definitely be dealing with an air sign, or an Aries may be involved, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's continue clarifying the fool we have the Three of Cups. So this may be some kind of situation that has gotten out of control because there are too many chiefs and not enough Indians. All right. Clarifying the lovers. We have the Four of Cups. Okay, so someone may want to propose possibly coming into union with someone. But someone in this dynamic is not so sure about this proposal, possibly due to the fact of some kind of karmic interference that may require pressing charges against this person. This person has said and done a whole lot in the past that has kind of tarnished this opportunity to celebrate this new beginning either in Canada or regarding Canada on some kind of level. I don't know what this is about. Let's see. Uh, possibly one knows that there is a new beginning for them in Canada. My priestess. Do they even have credit in Canada? I don't even think they do. America is really, I know they don't have it overseas, but America is really like gung-ho on judging people based off of credit score. Okay, someone may be, wow, 
I'm telling you, Seven of Pentacles is coming out again. This is somebody who is definitely harping on past transgressions, okay? They feel like as long as they keep bringing up a past situation over and over and over again, that it may work against someone's favor right now, but they're not realizing that the only person that's being harmed by this reoccurring nightmare of fuckery, which is mostly lies, by the way, is this person. This person keeps bringing up the past because they think it's going to mess up something for someone else, but all it's doing is further tarnishing this person's own reputation. The person that they may be trying to talk shit about is actually celebrating a new beginning right now, okay? Let's get a clarifier on that. Yeah, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. This person is not worried about whatever this other person has to say. This could be, again, a water sign, an air sign, an earth sign. Okay? Possibly a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But there is a lot of shit talking here. And someone bringing up the past a lot. There was something that transpired here in this relationship that somebody just can't get over. And because of this, they may be going out of their way to try to ruin opportunities for possibly an Aries or a water sign or an earth sign. It could be any sign, okay? This person also knows that they may have a very lucrative contract or opportunity waiting for them. Um, or they may live in Canada. This person may also be very intuitive, okay? This person also knows that the means or the lengths that they're going to talk all of, all of this shit is only causing themselves a tower. This particular person that they're talking about, you know, isn't really phased by it because it's not stopping their bags, right? Because what they intended to start a tower for for you is actually backfiring. And now they're in regret because it's making them look mentally unstable, and like they need therapy. Now they're stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck in regret now for possibly saying things that they said because they know that there's no coming back from it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch where success lives, we have the full of the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Crowning the energy, we have the High Priestess. So this is someone that's very, very intuitive, okay? Wow, you got the four wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is walking into a lot of opportunities, could be in the form of contracts, could be in the form of an actual union of some sort. This could be celebration. This could be a lot of things, okay? Wow. <clears throat> Clarified again by the Queen of Cups. We could be talking about someone who is a very nurtured soul or possibly nurtures others for a living this person may actually have a very lucrative contract moving forward and they're celebrating about it because regardless of what this person or group of people tried to do it can't stop the blessings that are divinely guided for this person to have now how does canada fit in i wonder canada canada That's too many cards, Holy Spirit. You have one of these offers. Maybe coming back around again. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, which is Seven Cups. Okay, and then you clarifying that with the seven. So this may be an option, but it also may be an illusion. You want to use discernment in any offers that are coming towards you because they may be fair-weathered options, meaning they're only coming back around to be nosy. Okay, confirmation in threes. You got the three of pentacles and the three of wands. <clears throat> All right, so... Let's see if we can get an outcome or some further clarification. I don't know what Canada or how Canada is significant. Maybe you're dealing with someone from Canada. Maybe someone from Canada needs to double down security because there is some heat coming 
towards Canada on some kind of level or from this person. Okay. <laughs> wow. This person may be having some issues right now due to somebody reneging on their contract. Okay. I know that's not a word or I know that sounds kind of borderline derogatory, but I don't mean to offend. Okay, so damaged by a karmic partner is getting clarified by I pimp out the karmic for money. This could be literally due to somebody reneging on a contract, okay, of some sort. Maybe there was a dynamic of this where there was two people that were working together on some kind of way. They had a working relationship where one person was making money off of the other person. Now, what exactly they were doing, I don't know. Maybe literally pimping, maybe a different form of pimping, okay? And now, for whatever reason, somebody spoke up about this situation or said a whole lot in regards to the dynamics of this situation, which is causing, or maybe they did this to try to attempt a tower moment for this person, but it backfired and now they're regretting it because um, they're stuck. Maybe they tried to reach out and get help and they weren't able to because they don't realize how secure this person is. All right. This person may be considering pressing charges. This karmic. Yeah, whoever this person is, they may have found out recently that they're not the only uh, person in the picture, which is why they're starting all this shit. There may be an Aries who is unknowingly a third in a third party situation okay maybe this person is minding their fucking business is also what i'm getting because look how the three of cups is signified here but the fool is looking in the other direction not even realizing that this opportunity that's being offered to them is definitely possibly for attention possibly for clout i don't know but this person is definitely coming across as just a nurturing high vibrational being and they may be getting attention by whoever this other person is but again knight of cups and six of cups equals seven which is an illusion this may be something that someone did merely to encourage someone to keep going but this karmic energy over here took it as you know a threat and cause a whole lot of stress for themselves. This is what happens when you deal with karmics who are insecure with their lives. Okay. It's toxic. And really, I can't feel bad for anybody because they do it to themselves. The outcome is instant karma. Don't start no shit. Won't be no shit, collective. Until next time.